Though the Bad Elf GNS Surveyor is ready to use straight out of the box with little to no configuration, there are a couple guidelines that we recommend you follow when you're conducting your mapping expeditions to maximize your performance potential. When you arrive at the side of your map, power on your GNS Surveyor by holding down the power button for 3 seconds. Next, we recommend mounting it to a monopod. If you're not using a monopod setup, an elevated surface also works. A good open sky view allows the receiver to calculate an initial fix as well as download any necessary data from the GNS satellite constellations. Any obstruction such as tree canopy, buildings, or even your own body can obstruct satellite signals, increasing the amount of noise and error caused by the signals passing through and reflecting off objects. This is called a multipath error. This initial period shouldn't be any more than a minute if you've used your surveyor recently, but allow up to 10 minutes if you haven't used your receiver in a while or if it's traveled a great distance. While you're getting set up, connect your mobile device to your GNS surveyor via Bluetooth if it did not connect automatically from a previous setup. Next, download the Bad Elf GPS app from the iOS App Store and open the app. You'll be able to view all of the information and settings accessible from the receiver's UI screen, as well as device settings and maps of previous track logs and your current location. The Bad Elf app certainly allows you to collect points in KML or GPX format with the accuracy you need, but if you need to visualize GIS data in real time and complement location data with detailed attribute fields, we highly recommend using a third party app like ESRI Field Maps, Appointment for ProStar or one of the many other highly powerful field data collection apps of your choice. Though the setup process varies slightly from app to app, generally just ensure you're using the Bad Elf Gene Set Surveyor as the location provider, and that the antenna height is set correctly. Now you're ready to start collecting high accuracy field data. Check out our best practices video for further information. Good luck and happy mapping!